Hey guys, M. Smith here. In case you remember from the last video, which you probably must have seen, we made a medieval shield. One. And in this week's video, we're gonna start a series, which is gonna be making a drone. So let's get to it. Okay, so how am I gonna accomplish making a drone? First of all, I'm gonna have to make a design for my drone. So let's say we have DC motors. We're gonna first today test out our DC motor. So I have a really low watt, watt DC motor that I just found lying around in one of my drawers. I used that a few years ago on a boat that I made, but boats aren't as strong as drones because boats only need a little tiny rotation just to push them with the fan. I need to be able to lift it. So my force being pulled up, so my lift force up has to be stronger than the weight. So, how do we do that? We need to make a drone with a lift. This is our drone motor. That's stronger than this. So if this is 10 grams, this has to be able to have a thrust of more than 10 G plus. Okay, so let's take our mini design. First, we'll start off with a tiny little test design. So we have our motor here. This is our motor. Then I'm gonna use a different color for the wires. We have our two wires, positive and negative, coming out into our battery pack, which will also be here. Now, if we take our fan, we need this battery pack to be able to produce enough thrust to be able to lift this and these wings will be what's helping thrust it and we and in the end we're going to have about four of these drones motors so now now that we have a design let's go and start testing okay so right now here i have some very basic parts this is a battery pack two batteries a dc motor and a fan so Right now, I'm just gonna quickly assemble in front of you this bat this battery pack with the battery. Okay, this is not a really strong battery set, but I'll use it for now. Now, what I'm gonna do is first attach the fan onto the top of the motor. Now, make sure it's off and I wire one. I'm gonna zoom in for this. Zoom. Um, wire just easy. This what these wires inside of the fan. All of them have to go through so that there's no disruption. Now I just loop it around, and that's one side. And I just repeat on the other side. All the wires, push them through, spin it around, loop it, and we have this as our fan. I'm gonna play that free back in slow motion. Okay, so we've seen how it works. It has, it's just really easy to uh, wires going negative and positive. Um, they attach into the motor, um, the, wire, the wire goes through, and here the electric spark does something on the inside which causes this to spin. And if I switch negative and positive side of the way that I've attached the wires, then I can make the fan spin the other way. So right now it's spinning uh, clockwise and if I wanted to spin anti-clockwise I'll just switch the negative wire over to the positive side and the positive wire over to the negative side so um, I'm just gonna now attach some sticky tack to the bottom and what this is gonna do is I want to make a stable base because right now the drone is just sitting like this and then the second I let go it'll fall over 
so I don't want it to fall over anymore. So what I'm going to do it first is I'm going to do a uh, times two speed and attach this. So. So the fan is ready. It still works. And as you can see, it'll actually move a bit. So it's trying to escape camera. It's kind of camera shy. Um, but the fan appears to be able to move. Now, I want the wind to be blowing downwards. So it is. So I have my negative wire on this side and the positive wire on that side. So the wind is blowing downwards. What this is allowing is just kind of like a jet. If, say, this is a jet if this is a, a rocket if this is a rocket you don't want the fire to be blowing upwards you want it to be blowing downwards so that it can ignite and push up if the fire was blowing upwards it should actually go and get crushed into the ground so here we need the wind blowing downwards which it is and this i'll pick it up like this and make it fly in the air right now this is not a strong enough drone there's too much weight and um the there's only one motor doing any thrust so it's not going to pick up but this is basically the idea and i can kind of see if i look from the bottom it is kind of picking up so we're going to go and check on a scale how heavy this is when it's on and how heavy it is when it's off with the entire thing so that and that will show what um how much it's lifting because if it has weight once it starts turning on if the weight decreases that means it's picking up so let's go test it out on a scale okay so i have my drone here and i have my scale here and i can see it's just above zero so and this is actually quite a heavy thing because there's also this uh battery and i'll turn it on Yeah, you can see it on the camera it's it's trying to lift up a bit so i think this is a successful attempt and uh i will try again next week because i have ordered some lighter uh smaller um and more fast uh i think a, like five times the speed of this motor um 10 more motors like this because this one I just found, I would used all my other ones on other stuff. So, I'm going to have better motors next week, and we're going to test those. So, I guess that's all for this week's video. So, thank you. Well, that was really fun. And I hope you tune in for next week's video, which will be part two of the drone video. So, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, as always, remember to go down and click that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe and click that notifications bell to be notified for all future content. And thanks for watching so much, everybody. M. Smith out. I'm gonna touch it. Can I touch it? Ow! 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 Okay, this is how to make a gun. Jeez. Ooh, what else can I fight with this? Ow. Ooh, nerf bullet. Nerf bullet. Ha <laughs>